Welcome to this AWS Solutions Architect course. My name is Tom Carpenter, and I've been working with AWS for many years now, and in the IT world for even longer than that. I've been around the IT world for almost three decades, and it's getting really close to that number now. And in that time, I've seen an awful lot of things come and go. But you know, one of the things that looks like it's here to stay for a long time is the cloud. We are seeing the benefit of moving things into the cloud like never before. See, the cloud first came on the scene over a decade ago, but it's really been in the last four or five years that we've seen a massive explosion in the utilization of the cloud, and it's only going to continue to grow. So the benefits of this course are just tremendous for anybody that wants to work in the IT of the future. This course is specifically for anyone who wants to understand AWS in general, because that's what the Solutions Architect certification does for you. The Solutions Architect Associate certification helps you to understand AWS as a general tool set for implementing technologies in the cloud. And it's useful for beginners all the way through to experts. Now keep in mind that this particular course has been updated for the 2020 exam release. And so what we've done is we've added new episodes, completely and entirely new episodes on new concepts and topics. And we've even added to some of the existing episodes that were there before. And so in that process, we'll cover domain one, designing resilient architectures, the ability to implement solutions in AWS that can be resilient against faults, failures, and even security incidents. That makes up about 30% of the exam. And then domain two, designing high performance architectures. So we don't just want them to be resilient, to stay there when we need them there, but we also want them to perform very well. This makes up about 28% of the exam. So we'll get into the different topics that help you to build these high performing architectures, like using replica databases, like implementing clustered EC2 instances, and many more topics. In Domain 3, we'll talk about how to design secure applications and architectures, and that'll make up 24% of the exam. So in this course, we'll get into the issues of security that are introduced in AWS and how we deal with those situations using the tools provided. And finally, in Domain 4, we'll talk about designing cost-optimized architectures, which is 18% of the exam. How do we implement the things we need in AWS without paying more than we have to pay? And it's really great, in my opinion, that the folks at AWS have decided to actually include in their certification that you have the ability to do things as inexpensively as possible within AWS. To me, that says a lot. And I really like this portion of it because I like to save money when I'm using cloud technologies. So we'll go through all of this and more as we go through the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate course together.